Welcome to part four of Tutamania, where I tell you all things about King Tutankhamun in celebration of the 100 year anniversary of the discovery of his tomb. Today, let's talk about Tut and his married life and about how he restored the religion of his ancestors. So it might be easy to assume Tut probably didn't make a lot of the really difficult decisions at the beginning of his reign. He was only about seven to nine when he took the throne, so you can assume that he either had a regent or a large council of high-ranking officials, generals, um, who would be making the harder decisions for him. So they might have been the ones who made the major decision to return to the old gods and move the capital back to Thebes. We don't know a lot about what happened in these early years of the reign in Thebes because it's only a couple year period and sometimes at Egyptologist we can't get that specific. We do know that he and his wife, Anxen Amun, removed Aten from their name and replaced it with the name of the god Amun. Tutankhamun also took the throne name Neb Keper Ure, meaning Re is the Lord of Manifestations. He also, interestingly, reburied his father's mummy in the Valley of the Kings outside of Thebes. It's safe to say that Egypt was pretty weak economically. I mean, Akhenaten built an entirely new city and didn't really keep up with diplomatic relationships. So Tut had a lot to catch up on. He, there are thoughts that he did try to repair bonds with such groups like the Mitanni in the Near East, and that's essentially based off of gifts we found from these other nations in Tutankhamun's tomb. After he was able to reestablish the cults of Amun and Ptah, he was able to initiate a few building projects, particularly in Karnak, which is in Thebes. He laid out this Sphinx Avenue uh, that leads to the Temple of Mut, and he gave all of these statues new ram's head. This was originally his father's project. He also completed the decoration of the entrance colonnade at Karnak, which was built by his grandfather, Amenhotep III. In general, he also restored monuments that had been destroyed by his father, while also defacing monuments that had been built by his father. This is possibly a block from an Aten temple that had been built in Thebes by Akhenaten, and they had reused the stones to build something called the Temple of ne Nekheper Ure, Beloved of Amun, who puts Thebes in order, which is probably a fancy name for Tut's mortuary temple, which we don't know where it is. Not much was known about his family life, but we do know that he had two stillborn daughters who most likely were the daughters of Anxenamun, and they were found in his tomb. Over here are two sarcophagi with the remains of a baby that was five to six months gestation and another baby that was nine months gestation. Let me know if you want me to do another video on this. The sarcophagi are very interesting. Check out the next video to learn about Tut's mysterious medical conditions.